Hey folks, Jess here with the News Bulletin. If you're a god of Mount Olympus, you may want to leave town. God of War 3 is finally here, and yes, Kratos is still angry. So very, very angry. Zeus! Your son has returned. However, killing gods and defiling women are just two of his hobbies. The third is treasure hunting. In this episode of Strategize, IGN will show you the locations of all ten godly possessions. We'll try and keep spoilers down to a minimum, but just remember, we'll still be showing some of the bosses you fight and weapons you acquire. The godly possessions are more than just conversation pieces. Each has a special power that you will be able to use after beating the game once. You'll also get a gold trophy once you collect them all. Not a bad deal. We have a lot to cover, so let's get to it. The first one is found after gliding into Gaia's heart. Before you remove this chunk of wall on the right, climb the vines up and to the right. You'll get Zeus's eagle that grants infinite rage of Sparta. Next up is Hades' helm. Found after fighting, you guessed it, Hades. Swim to the bottom of the river Styx and snag the helm. This one will max out health, magic, and the item's meters. The third is Helios's shield. Right after you obtain the head of Helios, shine its shimmery light on the ground next to Helios. The shield will increase your hit counter by three times. Up next is Hermes' coin. After catapulting your manly self into this statue, search the right side of the head. The coin will give you ten times the number of red orbs you normally collect. The fifth possession is Hercules' shoulder guard. After you get the Nemean Cestus, dive under Hercules' poor corpse to find it. This item will decrease damage taken by a third. Next up, we have Poseidon's conch shell. Found in Poseidon's princess's chamber. Search the pillows on the right side to snag it. This one will grant you infinite magic. The seventh possession is probably my personal favorite, Aphrodite's garter. Once you're in Aphrodite's chamber, you'll be given the option for a little R&R oh, &R with the goddess herself. Oh. Before you approach the bed, search the rear side of the room just to the left of these candles. There's a secret platform behind the bed, so double jump and float over to it. This item will let you continue to use Athena's blades. The eighth item is Hephaestus's ring. After getting the Nemesis Whip, search the far left side of the area near the blocked doorway that used to lead to Tartarus. With this handy object turned on, you'll automatically win all context-sensitive attacks. Number nine is in Daedalus's workshop. Once you fire the ballista through the blue gate, two chests will be brought to the ground. Inside one of them is Daedalus's schematics. This will grant you infinite item use. And finally, we have godly possession number 10, found at the beginning of the hedge maze, Hera's Chalice. After the Hera heavy cutscene, search the area just to the left of the save point. You really can't miss it. Activating this will cause the health meter to slowly drain over time, but will never completely empty it just in case you want an extra challenge. And there you have it, my little gods of war. More godly bling than Kratos knows what to do with. You would hope that would make him a wee bit happier, but on second thought, probably not. For more tips, tricks, and lessons in anger management, head on over to IGN.com.